in order to kill Tang San, Bibi Dong used all her cards, not only opened the second martial arts, Death Spider Emperor, she also used her most lethal soul skill, the Space Tearing Abyss Slash, this is a slash, from the Void, incorporating the vast soul power of a level 99 soul master, it also gathers the power of heaven and earth with space, it's just that this slash was finally blocked by Xiao Wu's invincible golden body, and Xiao Wu also pulled Demon Bear Dulua and teleported to the slashing range together, facing Bibi Dong's peak blow, Devil Bear Dulua's body was split and shattered, in the end it turned into a pool of blood, on Bibi Dong's side, she was equally uncomfortable. The Golden Thirteen Halberds used by Tang San caused her body to suffer heavy damage. Under the destruction of this divine power, Bibi Dong's body was blasted into powder. Relying on the skills of immortal body, she gathered her body again. But the consumption of soul power and mental power is still quite amazing. Bibi Dong stood in the air with a scepter in hand, examining the direction of the battle in midair. Not only did she fail to kill Tang San, but Demon Bear Dulua's death made her heartache even more. Swish, swish. Arrows shot up into the sky. He shot at the army of the Spirit Empire. This is the hidden weapon improved by Tang Sect, with extremely powerful penetrating power and range. The next second, the cry of the soldiers resounded in the four fields. Countless soldiers died of arrows. Even the Soul Master Legion was unable to defend against the power of the hidden weapon and suffered heavy losses. Seeing the soldiers of the Spirit Empire lying all over the place, Bibi Dong closed her eyes in pain. She knew the battle was over. The Holy Dragon Legion retreats. Heavy cavalry and infantry regiments. Meet the enemy. Bibi Dong sighed unwillingly. She summoned her vast soul power and sent orders to the entire army. Whoops. The battlefield is a mess. Defeated like a mountain. The soldiers of the Spirit Empire have lost their will to fight. Their only prayer is that they can save their lives and withdraw to Jialing Pass. Less cover from the Spirit Master of the Holy Dragon Legion. These heavy cavalry and heavy infantry became the living targets of Tang Sek's hidden weapons. Every round of arrows flew by and soldiers fell in pieces and pieces, and the casualties were extremely heavy. At this time, Bibi Dong had already returned to the city head of Jialing Pass, seeing her own army being harvested constantly. Her face was so ugly that it was terrifying. This battle, her loss is extremely exaggerated. Not only the dead will reach a staggering number, Devil Bear Dolua died directly, and Snake Spear Dolua was also seriously injured, lost the ability to fight. Some generals of the Spirit Empire saw soldiers dying. Heartache, they anxiously persuaded Bibi Dong. Wanting Bibi Dong to send a spirit master to attack, cover the retreat of ordinary soldiers. Hearing this, Bibi Dong's bewitching eyes flashed with a cold light, glanced at the general who came to persuade. They shivered with fright. The Soul Master Legion can no longer fight. Bibi Dong's tone was cold, with an unquestionable determination. Before she figured out those weird hidden weapons, she absolutely couldn't let the Soul Master go into danger again. In her heart, the life of a Soul Master is far more important than that of an ordinary soldier. On Tang San's side, he also led his companions back to the back of the battlefield. Although the Shrek Seven Devils were all injured to varying degrees, compared with the loss of the Spirit Empire, this can be said to be an inspiring victory. The only regret is that Tang San wanted to deal with Bibi Dong, throwing the Sea God Trident. Now this artifact is being inserted into the city wall of Jialing Pass. After a brief thought, Tang San decided to take a risk to retrieve the Sea God Trident. He first used the invisibility effect of the vast sea shield, hiding his body and breath. Then, Go alone to the city wall of Descending Pass to recapture this artifact. Tang San's plan was very successful. He approached all the way without being discovered by the Spirit Empire. When he was only tens of meters away from the city wall, the sudden change occurred. Tang San suddenly felt a pair of bewitching eyes, firmly locking his position in the sky. The powerful mental power of the other party made his back feel cold, and there was a feeling of nowhere to hide. This mental energy that makes the hair stand on end comes from Bibi Dong. She had long guessed that Tang San would never give up the Sea God Trident. So here she waits for Tang San. In order to lock Tang San's position, Bibi Dong not only pushed her mental power to its peak, he also borrowed the spiritual power of a titled Doluwa. Tang San's heart sank. It was too late to flee now. So far, the only thing is to fight hard. Tang San took a deep breath, discarding all distracting thoughts. He precipitated all his soul power and collapsed all his spiritual power. Demonstrated Purple Demon Eye. This is the mental attack that he mobilized all the energy in the body to launch. A dazzling purple light flashed and shot towards Bibi Dong. Bibi Dong, who had just locked Tang San's position, was about to shoot. Suddenly aware of the extreme danger, a strong light swept over, making her unavoidable. Then she only felt that her mind was blank, and the spiritual world fell into chaos and nothingness. At the same time, there is blood overflowing from the seven orifices of the body, and the appearance is very terrifying. The title Dulua who lent his spiritual power was even worse. His body cracked with terrifying scars and collapsed to the ground, not knowing whether to live or die. With this blow just now, Tang San exhausted all his energy and energy. His backlash is also very serious. Holding his last breath, 
Tang San jumped up the city wall and pulled out the Sea God Trident, quickly escaped back to the Tendo Empire military camp. Tang San, who returned to the camp, was no longer able to support. His eyes darkened. He fainted, waiting to wake up from a coma. Tang San found himself lying on the bed, sleeping Xiao Wu beside him. Apparently, these days he was in a coma. Xiao Wu is guarding her side and taking good care of Tang San. Never leaving, Tang San is moved. He stared at the suffocating pretty face in front of him, seeing Xiao Wu's perfect curve wrapped in a long pink dress. His heart swayed. He couldn't help taking Xiao Wu's delicate body into his arms and kiss Xiao Wu's red lips. 